All right, hello everyone. Um, yeah, so obviously our first video update and introduction, just wanted to say a big thank you to, to everyone that has got alongside and supported us with some of our ginger bags here. Um, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick look and basically show you what it is we do. So we grow the ginger here in these bags and you can see the tops of the ginger poking out through here. So that's some of this year's plant or last year's planting that's growing on now. So this stuff normally would obviously grow in ground. We grow in the coir medium just to be um, a little bit more disease resistant, gives us a bit more opportunity to use beneficial fungi, beneficial bacteria, a little bit more control over it, and then we can compost the coir when we're done with it. It also gives us the ability to um, to harvest, you know, anything from one bag to a whole row as opposed to running a tractor through here. Um, as you can see, we've opted to have grass in between the rows, which is a bit more work, a bit more maintenance, but a lot more um, friendly, I guess, in many sense. So we'll often have various things, quails, that sort of stuff living in here um, as well. It's just a, a bit more of a, a friendly environment. Also any excess fertilizer or nutrient that comes out of the bags comes down into the um, onto the soil and gets used and obviously down here on the dirt, in the dirt, there's living bacteria, living fungi, all these things and they all uh, absorb, absorb the nutrients, use the nutrients um, they transpire, they breathe in, they breathe out, they release CO2 and everything into the atmosphere which is caught on the bottom of these leaves by the stomata on the, the ginger. It opens and absorbs the, um, yeah, absorbs the, the kind of free carbon dioxide which the plants need to live and some nitrogen and things like that in through there. And then we, um, yeah, we this is kind of what we do. I just wanted to thank everyone that, that hopped on board and supported us. It obviously means a lot to us because we, um, yeah, we've chosen to do things a bit differently here, which is a little bit harder. About 35% of the property is still native bushland. So if you have a look over there, um, we're spray free. So we don't use any herbicides, fungicides, insecticides, etc., on or near the crop. Um, we also don't use any, um, yeah, we use beneficial fungi, beneficial bacteria and try and foliar apply organic certified inputs onto the leaves to um, to give the plant that boost and trying to grow healthy plants to resist disease as opposed to, um, yeah, using using fungicides, etc. to kind of keep it cropped up and going along. Uh, look, you'll be receiving more regular updates from me. It's part of the deal, part of the journey, part of how you... Um, get to experience what we're doing and share in what we're doing and um, yeah I just wanted to say again that we really appreciate it. Um, thanks everyone.